When building a marketing campaign, sometimes your workflow needs to grow beyond the initial idea that you had for it. In this video, I want to show you how to add a new action step to a campaign in ACT Marketing Automation. From the current workflow of the campaign that I've been building, you can see that I have a decision stage here. On the No side of the stage, I've added an email action that follows it. But there's nothing on the Yes side of the stage. So let's fix that. If I click the Decision stage, when it asks me what would I like to do, you can see that there's no way to add any actions after the Decision stage. And that's because there are two branches, so it wouldn't know where to add the stage. So instead of doing that, let's go down the Yes branch and we'll click the End stage to modify it. What would I like to do? I'll choose Change Action Type. A new dropdown appears and it's called Select Action. So from this list, I'm going to choose Actions and then click the Go button. My workflow has now changed. Instead of the End step, I now have an Actions step. That's pretty vague, so let's define the action by clicking the step. What would you like to do? Well, I'd like to edit the actions and then click Go. This opens up the Add Action window and here we can select the action type. You can see that there are lots of choices. We could create an activity in ACT or an opportunity in ACT. We could add these people to a different marketing campaign. We could add these people to a group in ACT. We could even update one of their contact fields in the ACT database. We could create a notification or remove them from a campaign entirely. But since I want one of my sales reps to make phone calls to these customers, this will become an activity inside ACT. So I'm going to create activity. Several new fields now appear below. And the first one lets me choose a specific user at my company to whom I will assign all of these calls. I'm going to choose Randy Savage. Next up, we have the activity type. Well, this is going to be a phone call, so I'll choose call. And for the regarding field, I might just type welcome new customer. If I wanted to add more details to the field below, I could do that, but instead I'll just click the save button. And now my new action has been created. At the top, I'm going to name this action type welcome call. Now I'll go to my actions menu and choose save and return. Now my workflow appears again, and you can see I have a new action. It's called a welcome call. But there's still something wrong with my workflow. Can you spot the problem? If you said there's no end stage at the bottom of the yes branch, then you win. So let's add one. I'm going to click the actions box. And instead of editing actions, I want to insert an action after. And the action type is going to be an end stage. So I'll click go one more time. And now my workflow looks pretty good. Customers who did not open my first email will receive a follow-up email. But for those who did open my first email, ACT will automatically schedule a welcome call activity with one of my sales reps. I don't have to manage this manually. So now there's only one thing left to do. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to end a marketing campaign. <laughs>